welcome back guys to another episode of Let's Play this game called Rift. See, it says in this name, this says right here, this is a Rift slaver. These people enslave the people that work at Rifts. I don't know who what the company is, like uh, Glyph or something? I don't quite know what the company's called. But I do know that they use these people to kill people. Are we leaving this shitty cave yet? There's got to be a way out of this cave. Every cave has an opening. Oh, we're going uh Because if it didn't have an opening, then it would just be a hole in the ground. It wouldn't even be allowed. It would just be a thing. It would just be an underground hole that just has no access. It's kind of like the London subway, you know. It has no access points ever. I watched The Amazing Spider-Man, so... Okay. And in the trailer of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, they showed Electro, it showed the Green Goblin, it also showed Rhino, and I was like, oh, Rhino, I really like Rhino because he's a Rhino and it's, you know, he's pretty cool. And it didn't actually show Rhino in the entire film until everything had finished with the main plotline, and then it just randomly showed Rhino, like, just running down the street at people, and then it ended. And I was very disappointed. And that made me give the film a negative review. I was I was disappointed. I was like, in the trailer, it showed like Spider-Man actually fighting Rhino. It never occurred in the film. And I was extremely disappointed with that. I was looking forward to Spider-Man fighting Rhino. And it never happened, and so I cried. And I'm never going to watch the film again. You know. I was I was very upset. I was expecting Rhino. It never happened. It's like an X Men where if they're just like, hey, Magneto's in this film, we're gonna show you a whole trailer of the X Men fighting Magneto. Oh, but he's not actually in the film when you watch it. It's like what why? What would you just show that then? What is the point? It's like, hey, here's a film about Spider Man, but Spider Man isn't actually in it at all. It's all about fucking <laughs> Mary. This is one hell of a cave. See, so you know yeah. these quests where it's like, go into this cave and like, kill all the people in the cave so they don't affect us. Why not just like, place some TNT at the front of the cave and then collapse the cave entrance? Because then they're all going to just die of starvation in the cave. And we won't have to deal with them. Like, isn't that the sensible option here? <laughs> that seems like the easy way of dealing with everything. It's like, in well. Like, Anixia's in her lair. Why not just blow up the front of the cave and be done with her? Just leave her down there to rot. And then we wouldn't have to fight her ever again. You know, it's just problem solved. <laughs> like, uh, it just seems easier that way. I'm trying to think of other examples now. Uh, and that's all I've got, really. I mean, every, ever, every cave in WoW ever you could just blow up the front of. And Jaina, right, Jaina in the Siege Rogamar, how she can't move her fucking blizzard spell during the Galakras fight. Like, what is up with that? How difficult is it to move that? Like, what what is she playing she, 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 She's she the most powerful she maid. She summons magical water elementals that can destroy everything in Dalaran. She threatens to flood Orgrimmar, but yet she can't move her fucking blizzard. What, what the fuck no. is up with that? So, man... This blizzard requires all of my concentration and I can only put it on one spot forever because I just it. I just can't move it. It's too much. Yeah. Also, another thing, right? During the encounter with um Garrosh, right? When he fights Fro, right at the beginning, he's like, Hey, your elements are no use here. You can't connect with them because the dark shamans have twisted them. How can every shaman from the Alliance and Horde still use their shamanistic abilities in that fight? <laughs> But Fro can't. Of logic. It's like, Fro, you can't use yours, but everyone else can. <laughs> Does this just mean that every one of our Alliance and Hall players are Dark Shamans? This is what Pretty I've gained much. from my knowledge. That we're actually Dark Shamans. So there you go. I have no clue what the fuck is going on in this cave. Look how big it is, and it's like random. 
Smoldertron has bolted himself onto the battlefield. Smoldertron makes himself heard. The wanted more will burn the Ascended from the land. Is that all they're after the Ascended? Like, will they go away if they kill all the Ascended? I don't know. I don't know. Or three trap villagers. What are we doing in this fucking cave anymore? I don't know. We seem to pick up more and more quests. Oh, we do seem to be picking up more and more quests. I found one in my inventory as well. I, I got that one. It's to kill things. <laughs> I didn't actually right. see me pick it up, but... <laughs> Return to someone in... Pris... Pris... Spicy... Spicy Town. Uh, kill things, kill things, free people by killing things, and collect defenses from killing things. Basically, yeah. there's like Basically, a lot of killing going. The entire cave. That's what I would do. Like, oh, just be so much easier. Or just get Jaina. Where's Jaina? She could flood the cave systems. Why doesn't she just flood things all the fucking time? She can flood Orgrimmar. She can flood a fucking cave. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. Also, how would you she flood need... Orgrimmar? Like the. There's no way it would flood, because all the water would just go out the two gates when it's like... It would just, like, like basically a tidal wave would just swept through Orgrimmar, and then all the water would just, like, go into Azashara. <laughs> or Jura's You know the, the place in Orgrimmar where there's the uh, fish fishing, fishing spot? Where it's sort of... waterfall. Yeah. Yeah, there's no place where all that water can run away. That's just like it. It's... There's it a lot of... There's a lot of magical places, like how the ocean hasn't all just gone down into deep home, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a massive maelstrom in the centre of Azeroth, sucking all the water down into deep home, yet no water ever gets moved. <laughs> yeah. Hey, also, this guy's got a, a name. He's there's going. barely any water anywhere in deep home. Yeah. In fact, there's more lava than there is water, and that's why Daphne was soaking his feet. Yeah. He was having a little party in the lava. <laughs> I don't even understand. There's so many things. Game logic. I found another fucking quest. Well, you know, more the more the merrier, I say. I can't accept this quest right now. <laughs> we had one quest to get in here, and now we have five. Technically, there was two quests in here to begin with, because we had to kill trolls. Okay. What is this quest? I don't even know anymore. I'll just deliver it. This lady is in the fucking cave system. Are you fucking shitting me? Oh, my God. I can't even navigate the fucking cave system, because it's too retardedly big. Yep. Oh, well, that was an easy way of freeing villagers. So if we... Oh. Right, I think the lady we have to give this thing to is this way. Then one and of these... one quest, like, just down there. I think it's, like, down this cave branch. Yeah, it's down here. I found her. Yeah, but I have one right over here as well. well yeah, but we're going to have it. to come back into this main room anyway. Is this way blocked? This way... Oh, no, it goes down, I think. This is the most complicated cave system <laughs> of all time. Yep. Flooding this would be way easier. Who cares if the trap better just died? You know, no one cares. Like, you know. I don't know. Also, another thing I don't understand about the Siege of Ogmar is the Skyfire was there during the Iron Juggernaut fight. It can blow off the gates of Orgrimmar, but it can't do any damage to the Iron Juggernaut. <laughs> yeah. It can't even shoot it, but it can shoot the gates of Orgrimmar perfectly fine. Man, that's no problem. One shots the gates. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Gates aren't a problem. The same goes for Deathwing in the Deathwing encounter. He can take down the fucking horde ship by flying through it, but he can't fly through the Alliance ship. <laughs> like what? Does it, what? It doesn't make sense. You've just taken down the horde ship instantly. Why can't you do the thing with the Alliance ship? Like, is it that because difficult? Of logic. <laughs> it's just death wing thinking. Nah, nah, they're already fighting. Nah. Alright, it's because more important people were on that ship. 
You had Varian on that on there, I think. So, you know, more important people means the ship can't go down. Yeah. That's how you do it. Just like, go, oh, okay, Stormwind's about to be bombed. Just stick all the Alliance leaders in there and it will no longer be bombed. <laughs> because you can't risk killing all of the leaders. I think Valon should be killed repeatedly by someone for doing fuck or whatever. Pretty much. Where was he during the Siege of Orgrimmar? He was playing fucking Happy Ponies with his Draenei. No. Done absolutely nothing for his entire lifespan. You're free. Go moo. <laughs> moo like free cows. I'm trying to think of all the stupid encounters in Wales. <laughs> Inixia's lair is one of the stupid encounters because she just flies up in the air for no reason at all. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to fly up in the air now. In the cave. I'm flying up in the air in a cave where I <laughs> can't possibly go anywhere. It's like, okay, yeah. okay then. You know, I can fly up in this cave too. I'm sorry, I think Inixia is actually so big that she can't actually get out. She has tunnels. a human form though. She could have just gone human form and waddled out of the cave. Gone like, oh, oh yeah. man, I've just walked out the cave. <laughs> Whoa, how difficult was that? Oh, we're back here again. I told you awesome. we're back here. <laughs> well, we're, back, we're back here in a minute. Stop complaining. I failed a quest, the secret stairs. Oops, how did I fail that? Oh, it was an escort quest. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have that. Oh, there's another quest to hand in in this place, actually. I don't even know what this quest is, but I failed it. I don't even know where I got it from, but it's been failed. My, oh, I've been back at the, uh... Well, the person that we just turned in a quest into, as well. All I know is that somewhere in this cave, there's a person that wants escorting out. And I don't want to look for him particularly because this is a rather large cave. I'm going over it, there. It was the guy in the cave. Ah, oh, what well, down here? Yeah. Well, I better go and see if it is this guy. That's just creepy door. Oh, it is the guy down here. Oh, what a bug! What a bug! Toilet roll. This guy's toilet roll. Uh. Burn. That's a horn. No, that's a car alarm. Great, there's a car alarm going off. Because someone turned that shit off. It's very obnoxious. What the hell is that? That's oh. a car alarm. Okay. And the meaning of life. Yay, I collected an energy shard. Woo! Great death shard. Woo, I did it. I'm God. I'm gonna have to wait for it to respawn. Hey, I'm escorting this guy out of the cave. You're a free panda bear. Do you know what I like about ESO? Right? So there are escort quests in ESO, but the person you're escorting follows you. They don't run off by themselves. They wait, they follow you around. It's not like, hey, escort me out of this cave, and I'm going to run off by myself. It's like, hey, escort me out of this cave, and I'm going to follow you, so you can do whatever you want, and escort this person out as long as they don't die. It's like, you could fucking give them a picnic, like, go and go across a different continent, like, travel to Mexico, and it wouldn't fail, because they'd just sit around following you. But no, in every other game ever, it's like, hey, there's an escort quest, where you have to follow the person you're escorting. That's not how escort quests work. That's not how escorting works. They follow you. It was like, hey, get me out of this cave with extremely hostile, dangerous people that are going to kill me on sight. But I'm going to run off and do my own fucking thing while you just trail behind me. Okay, I think I finished my rant about escort quests. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that guy again. Oh, hi, Lus, leader of the Afalofalofalofalofos. Quite. 
He's going to die. I'm going to hit him with whatever whatever weapon I'm using, and he's going to perish in the of burning hell. I think that is just an image. I could still hit it. <laughs> True. <laughs> image or not, it will be hit. <laughs> Why does it all games? Oh, like, loads of MMOs have holograms. I want a holograms in real life. Like, imagine how cool it would be. Instead of having a screen, it would just be a hologram. That'd be at it. I know there are holograms out there, but still. Thanks, I've got to go back into the cave, unfortunately. There's more shit to be done. I saw a quest in here somewhere. Yeah, there's two quests in here still to hand in. So the four episodes I was recording today is going to be mostly spent in this fucking cave. We entered here We entered here in the first episode. We spent all episode in here for the second episode, unless we get out of the next five minutes. This series of recording is brought to you. This, this recording is sponsored by The Cave. I uh, see a controller. Well, yeah, I'm just going to walk around these people in the hell and deal with these people instead. <laughs> uh. You're very slow. Are you, are you like, ill? Oh, also, I'm like wearing the most impractical gear for like fighting people with a mace. Nah. I've got like a dress on, I don't even know. It's like a back dress. Oh, is it just a coat? I think this is like an overcoat, maybe. I don't quite know. I do like the the um the armors in this game though. The armors. Yeah. Although I really do like ESO. Because in ES like you know in some games it's like disguise yourself as this thing, you disguise yourself as a person. And then you, like, never get to use that disguise again. In the SO, you get to keep the disguise forever. So, I've run around now as a skeleton. Because <laughs> there was a quest in the SO where you get a curse on you and you become a skeleton. And so now I run around in the SO as a skeleton and it's way fun. <laughs> Just being a skeleton. <laughs> I'm a mage. So, like, the first thing I got to transform me into a goblin. I was like, I don't like this. Then the next one I got, I got, like, transformed into this guard, and it had, like, full plate on, and it looked really cool, and I was like, man, I'm going to wear this, even though I'm a mage, because it just looks, and it's, like, awesome. And then I was like, now I'm a, and then I found one that I get to be a skeleton, and I was like, man, I'm being a skeleton forever, and never changing. <laughs> so now I live as a skeleton. But it's, um, it's kind of sad, though, because the armor in ESO looks really good, even without the, um, the, uh, disguises. So it's kind of sad I never get to see myself, but still, being a skeleton... Beats looking at my armor. <laughs> that, that's that's how it works. Okay, now there's a quest over this tunnel. I thought we'd been up this tunnel. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Looking for a serious player versus environment guild. I don't know why I said the entire thing, but still. The rooster on this guild is amazing. The last someone was actually online 13 days ago. Oh, that was me. In that case, the last person was like 50 days ago. <laughs> What's the opposite of serious? Unserious, not, yeah. Not, not serious. <laughs> Pretty much no serious black from Harry Potter called not serious black. <laughs> be kind of funny. This is my uncle, not serious black. Who just sent me a Skype message? Ah! Uh... Okay. Finished. Oh, he's right here. It's a woman. She's a bit out. What is with her hair? Oh my god. That's scary shit. What we done in the I think cave? that's a hair. No, that's hair. It's definitely hair. Fair enough. She has Where do funky go now? hair. Well, I've got to go and kill like three more crushers. So there's got to be some in this cave somewhere. Such crushers? One. Yeah. A mother's wrath. Oh, I've done the controllers. Because I actually accepted the quest when we found it. Unlike some people. I've lost you. Killing controller. Oh, so in ESO, there's so much stuff to do per zone. It's not just do quests. There's like mini dungeons, and there's fucking quests, and there's like massive death wrath gate things that spawn shit. 
and like there's bosses just scattered throughout the wild and there's like little like there's min there's like an actual solo dungeon you can do and then, then there's big player dungeons. I haven't found a single rage yet, but I don't know where they are. And plus it's Elder Scrolls Online, so it's cool to like revisit places that you've been to in the games. Although I haven't actually been anywhere that I've been in the games because I've only played Skyrim. <laughs> but that is my next zone that I'm going to in here, so it's up to it's up to this guy in the area, so it's not all bad. I've been in Morrowin, mate, mostly in some of the Black Marsh. <laughs> but I'm going up to a Skyrim area next. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed the good local. Let's go. Until next time, take care. Bye.